Hello, I'm Natalie Jo, and this is my very first foray into YouTube videos. So today I thought I would make a video showing you um, what I'm going to do with a salvaged footstool that I found on the side of the road. So the footstool I found a couple of months ago uh, when I was out driving around, actually with my friend Ellen who was visiting from Chicago. Um, we were in a cute neighborhood in Madison, Wisconsin where I live and someone had put out this um, footstool and it's uh, upholstered in this kind of gross, thick, like carpety kind of uh, fabric. And what I really liked about it though were these cool uh, mid-century legs that it had. Uh, they have really nice taper, um, and kind of brassy caps. They're a little scuffed up, but nothing that people really pay too much attention to unless you're like crouching down on the floor to look at the legs. Um, so originally I thought I was just gonna like unscrew the legs and use them for some other project, but it looks like this footstool wasn't originally upholstered with the sort of like gross carpety fabric. So I want to see what's underneath, Let's see if that's salvageable. Um, I don't know that I necessarily want to reupholster it with my own fabric to like have another footstool because I already have one that I like. Uh, so first I just want to see what's underneath and then take it from there as far as what I want to do with it. So this is the stool. It has these really great legs. Um, it's not so exciting carpet. I mean, it really does. It looks like it's like an old carpet sample. It's pretty gross. So I'm gonna flip it up and I was originally just gonna like unscrew these plates so that I could use them and attach the legs to something else. But I think I'm gonna just take like I like, can even just like pull out the staple. I'm gonna take a flathead um, screwdriver and just start like ripping out the staples because I'm curious what's underneath this. So let's do that and see what we've got. So I discovered this green vinyl after ripping up some of the staples that it's duct taped on these edges. Um, my general uh, technique was to feel around for the staples that were buried in the carpet and try and lever them out. I dig them out using my screwdriver and I would often need the pliers to finish the job. Uh, but there, you could feel that it was adhered, you know, like tacked down. But I couldn't find the staples. I had to like really dig with my fingernails until I felt something hard to find it and then uh, lift it out with my screwdriver. But eventually I removed them all and for the big reveal the top of the footstool was even more gross than expected. Um, it's cracked and covered up with a lot of duct tape, really dirty. Um, the vinyl was brittle in some places and, you know, cracked beyond repair. Uh, but it had this beautiful floral piping, uh, but it wasn't worth saving, so I just unscrewed the legs uh, from the base and plan on using those. Um, they're a little beat up, but uh, I think I can refinish them, maybe put some rub and buff on the tips. I don't know if I really want to refinish the wood part. Um, and then the top was just kind of disappointing, so I'll probably end up tossing that. Uh, I had hopes that maybe there would be something beautiful underneath, but that was a bit of a pipe dream. Um, I don't think someone would cover something that was in good condition up with such ugly carpet samples. So the footstool underneath the uh, carpet sample upholstery was a little underwhelming. Um, it looked like it would have been a really pretty sort of uh, like springy, like not quite Kelly green with a nice almost like flower piping design, unfortunately. 
was really cracked and covered in a duct tape, probably patching up those cracks, so I didn't think it was really worth salvaging. Um, I'm not sure exactly what projects I have in mind for those legs, but I think they're pretty great. A little beat up, but nothing uh, that can't be used, so we'll see. I'm kind of interested in doing like a low to the ground, um, like bookcase almost to run underneath some windows. So we'll see if I end up using the legs for that, but I'm happy to have them at least and I'm gonna go toss the, uh, the top of the footstool now. But thanks for coming on this journey with me. I'm sorry if uh, this particular example was a little underwhelming, but I'm really into like DIY and decor content. Um, so uh, I'm thinking about some other projects that I might want to film because uh, I love to just do this stuff as is and I love watching other people do this on YouTube so I figure I might as well give content creation a try. So let me know what you might like to see me do with the legs and uh, any fun project ideas with those. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.